All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of The Parts Bin. We got an exciting one here today, right? This is really exciting. We've been working on this for a long time, over a year, maybe yeah. even, I don't want to say how slow we are, so, but it might well, even be more than a year. New products <clears throat> have a lot of R&D problems, fixes, get the first set, got to make a change until you're ready for your final thing. And these are now ready. We've got them in a couple of engines. They're working awesome. So They're awesome. So tell us about why these are so awesome. So the big problem, first off, factory rocker pedestals, they're very narrow and they're very low grade steel. They're yeah. almost like a pot metal. In fact, they're so low, they don't even show up on a Rockwell hardness C scale. They're barely on the B scale. That means that they're like, you know, just like a piece of steel you buy at the hardware store to, to you know, do fix stuff. your fence or something. Yeah, just Very low steel. grade. It looks like they're punched out or extruded in some sort of a die, so they're soft to be extruded. Anyway, they're just very cheap things. And remember on your truck, remember we split? Yeah. We split them on your, yeah. your big power truck, so we yeah. know that they won't, that they're weaker than the rocker arms. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, because the rocker arms didn't break and we split those. So we know that they're, they're a problem. The other problem we're having on your truck, we saw, this all comes from racing, is we kept having valve cover leaks because these rock so hard yeah. and we had a and it valve. moves your valve cover. And it moves the valve cover, makes it leak. So then we got a billet valve cover that tied all six together and then it wallered out and loosened the, the, the threads. It actually ruined the billet valve cover, it rocked so hard. Because the valve cover was trying to time out. Basically these things flex a ton. When you get a bigger <clears throat> cam or higher RPM, they're and like. Why, why that happens is you have your push rod right here pushing up and you have a spring resisting it. So it's pushing this. So as this pushes up, and the spring, it actually rocks it this way and back and forth. And they just wag like crazy. In fact, one terrible. of my heads, we got, I think we got footage of it. Yeah. It actually has creases on the head. That you can feel. From the rocker pedestal. Is this for my junker drag truck? It might have 10,000 miles on that head. Yeah. And it's all, it, it's loosened so much. We've had customers come in. They're like, I can't get my valve cover to seal because it rocks so much it wore out the gasket on their valve cover. It cuts them. So this is a, this is a problem we've had, I think Peter DeSardi brought in a truck too. So, yeah. so there's a few, so once again, this is a problem that might not be known about to the YouTube world, but to, to the high people in our industry. World. So what's the other problem we're seeing with factory rocker pedestals well, has the, to do with oil spec? The pin on this. So we actually, we actually make our own pins as well. And so with the, with the new oil, starting in 07, you guys all know they, they just, cut out the anti-wear, cut out the detergents, and all of a sudden we have a lot of galled arms. And so- Galled pins too, galled pin, pins yeah, and arms. Pins and arms, you know, the inside of these arms getting, getting nasty. So I'd say half the core engines we get in- Core they have pedestals. Core pedestals, we have seized up rocker arms yeah. on them. So yeah. people are sending them in as a core because they've seized up and their engines started misfiring and they couldn't figure it out. And I mean, I've seen it seize so hard that it holds the valve open and they bend the valve. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it- this it, is stuck. It's just it's bad. So so we've got an oiling problem, a lubrication problem, a rocking problem, a strength problem. For for in a performance application, it's not adequate. And there's been some very expensive things come over the years that are awesome, but they're really cost prohibitive for an for an average guy looking for a nice little hot rod motor. I've had them before, and, and they're great. But this is this is way way more affordable. So we came up with is these awesome power driven diesel rocker pedestals. These things have widened bottoms. Some people call them bat wings. Yeah. You can call them whatever you want. I mean, what do you want to call them? Bat wings? Yeah, the bat wings. I'm a big fan of the Batman. So we'll call the bat wings for now. So they have a widened base. The base is almost twice as wide as stock. Not quite. It's like 44% wider than stock. Mm -hmm. So that helps with the, the rocking motion. Because the head where these things mount to is actually wider than the base of this. So there's room to be widened so catch, catch structural support. Different head castings have, are a little bit different, so this may hang out over your head, but it'll, it'll definitely get to the edge of any head we've seen. It fits, drops in, or, or if you have a war head, those have a, an oil leak problem, and we'll talk about that later, that, that, that the these solves. fix, that, that yep. solve, they cover up a, a soft plug there that leaks oil. Mm -hmm. But anyway, so we made this wider, so that's the first upgrade. So let's say we're 44% wire, let's say it's a 44% upgrade. Just in structural. Just in structural. Then the material, the material was, was terrible. Yeah. So we ended up going to a 17.4 aircraft quality stainless uh, alloy. Then uh, I got to read my notes here. This was a homogenized and solution annealed in a vacuum oven. It's a fancy way of saying it was heat treated. Yeah. 
He treated about a 32 to 35 RC is where it's coming in. Puts them at about 150,000 PSI tensile strength. What's an ARP 625 tensile strength? Um, well, you torque them to 160 to 180, but they, they claim the ultimate's up there like 280. Okay. So, okay. so this is not as, as strong as an ARP 625 head stud material, but like... But stronger than a factory head bolt material. Way stronger. Yeah, so the things that hold your head on, this is stronger than that. So the reason we went this hard, the, the, these factory ones, they, don't even, they barely register on the B scale for hardness, they're so low. So these are three, three and a half, depends on which one you test, four times stronger than the factory just from the material. Yeah. They're stainless, they're never gonna rust and look ugly. Some of these race trucks, you guys don't know, that you get a lot of condensation on the cover, so you get a little... Yeah, little you run water injection, it goes around your valves because you don't run valve seeds on big power stuff. You actually have water up in here, but... But these are designed for street trucks. This is race technology brought over for street trucks yeah. that also works on race trucks, race trucks. You got on your truck right now, the Papa Source has it. Yeah, Papa Source has them right now and proven to 1,000 horsepower, no problem. I want to talk about the oiling upgrades on the pins. Let's show these pins real quick right here, guys. Well, before we go off oh, the material, sorry. though, oh, yeah, sorry. really quick, the final problem I've seen, factory, because these are so soft, it's common to have the thread strip mm, that holds the, totally. factory, um, the factory valve cover on. You're not going to strip these threads. I guarantee you will break off the bolt but we'll break. before you're going to strip these threads because it's a hard heat treated and it's, yeah. and it's, a, it's a better material. And it's, I mean, it's a, it's a solid upgrade for sure. Uh, one of the upgrades also is the pin. Let's talk about the pin and what we've done because we do have problems with oil in today's world. If you buy our power driven oil, uh, this is much less likely to happen because ours is jacked up with anti wear. But even still, we like to have extra oiling in every can because as the spring pressures get really high, you have a lot of pressure on this guy here. So we've, we've upgraded the pins on these guys. Um, I'm gonna try to get some stuff here real quick. Let's. We can just talk about it. We can get some tight okay. footage, no problem. So, so you just have, talk about it and point at it. And you have your oil supply to your rocker arm here. And well, a lot of people don't know, the oil comes straight up the middle of the rock. So it comes up right. the head stud or head bolt. Comes over. Crosses over, feeds the middle, goes out to the pin. That's how it oils your rocker arms. Yep. So there's a little hole here. And then there's a, on the, on the factory pin, there's just a little line, a little groove. I've gone all the way around to that oil, feed that whole groove and disseminate out a, a, against the, the bushing. So uh, we've actually done this in our own rockers. You know, we, we manually with a little, little die grinder or a little Dremel made these and actually we were really happy with it. And so we've So the first prototype was, was Dremeled. Now they're machined with a point mill and they're beautiful. Yes. But we actually have the, so we have the groove around here like the factory. We've also added this groove right here. And that lets the oil really spread out across the whole entire bushing that's in your, in your rocker arm. So and it creates the what they call that hydrodynamic wedge of oil yep. under the rocker arm where that heavy loading is. Yes, where it's pushing up. So that's where everything happens on the underside. Now, I don't want to say we're geniuses and we got this up on our own. You get in brand new 6.7 Cummins rocker pedestals, they've done the same thing. Yep. You get early 24 valve rocker pedestals and they have a single groove like this and they have galling. Now they've gone to this oil spec, Cummins has added yeah. when the, the when same groove we did. It's so frustrating. People say, oh, this oil is backwards compatible. This is backwards compatible. Why do you have to modify stuff in your new engines that you didn't have to do 10, 15, 20 years ago and it worked great for a million miles? It's not backwards compatible. I don't care what they say. Bunch of liars. So essentially we've added an oil wedge to, to give you the, uh, that upgraded oiling so you don't do that. The final thing is these factory pins are pretty hard and even then they can still gall. So when we made these upgraded pins, they're, uh, what do they say, hard as a coffin nail is the, is the figure of speech. They're very they're hard. They had to be hard. surface ground. They're so hard, you can't even machine them. Yeah. So they are, they are a stiffer pin to help with that flex. Their thing is the press fits a little tighter. So if you do end up putting these on a big, big power truck like Todd's, yeah. you're not gonna have the pin walking or trying to twist and cut off the oil because we've had that happen on yours mm -hmm. as well. So they're a lot tighter press fit and they, like I said, they're just awesome. The final awesomest thing about this, it's got this fantastic logo, Power Driven Diesel, cast right in the base. Made in USA. Made in USA, cast in there, 100% American made stuff. Everything. If you're not American, sorry, but if you are American, this is American, it's awesome. I'm not sorry, you should buy I'm American, even if you're not American, buy American. The reason it's American is because generally, American there's a little tighter quality control in American Little tighter quality stuff. control. Anyway. So, 
these are awesome i i don't know what oh they're pre-machined for head studs so a lot yeah. of guys you're sending in your pedestals machine shops charging you a couple hundred dollars to cut a relief in there just to run your head studs these are set Ready up for it already if you don't have head studs the factory threads on your head bolt are long enough you could still run a head bolt on here there's no so they're reverse compatible but if you would want to but do most that. people doing this probably you're going to have head yeah. studs too because they and there's a couple upgrade options as well on the website when you go to look at this this is just the the tower and the pin there's you can get some upgraded fasteners these are nice little upgrade over stock fasteners for your lash adjustment we even have some roller rocker arms we can you can option with these that are pretty pretty fancy so you can really and the rocker upgrade. arms roller rocker arms aren't cheap they're not no. like for everybody but they're they'll work on the street and they're awesome there's nothing wrong with them but they are definitely a premium type item but so, so like if you have a race truck it's side loading the valves wearing out the guides that's the big advantage you see on the roller rockers is they don't side load the valves as much, especially when you get a big lift cam. But yeah. they're totally fine on a street truck as well, no, no problem. As the factory rocker arms, they work great on street trucks too. But yep. if yours are galled and all torn up, you might, want to upgrade. Yeah, you, might, you might think about upgrading. The great thing about this is, yes, this is vastly superior to one of these. We sell these, actually brand new ones of these, right? We actually get new ones and we machine them down for people and sell them. And yes, this is more expensive than a brand new one of these, but not as much as you think. I mean, honestly, I anticipate these selling less because this is not a ton more, and it's so much better. So, and you get the oiling upgrades too. Yeah, the oiling upgrades, which is nice. Worth the money in your hot rod truck. And if you haven't seen that video, the 4BT cylinder head test, we put this on the yep. uh, Kuntz Boys 4BT, and you can see the oil. We have improved the oiling too. There's bigger oil passages in mm -hmm. here. You're getting more oil to the rock arms. Not so much that you're going to cause low oil pressure. No, it's not no, like no, gallons of oil, but normal rocker arms takes, I don't know, almost a minute before you get a lot of oil coming out. And on theirs, I think after a minute of idling, that oil spattered all over the top of the engine. Nice. And they're like, oh, I guess we should put the valve covers on. Yes. I'm like, yep. <laughs> yeah, because oiling is a big deal. It's the lifeblood of your engine. So anyway, guys, we have these available now. Give us a call here at the shop. We you know, give you answers on this. Give you, make sure if this is the right fit for what you're doing. And we have guys, any questions you have, we'd love to answer them. And yeah, we're super excited about this. We've been working a long time. This has been a big problem we've faced here at Power Driven for, for years, honestly. And uh, the options in the market were great, but they were very, very expensive. Very cost prohibitive, just yeah. not. And some of them won't even fit under a valve cover. Yeah. These will fit under your factory yeah. valve cover. So it's like they're a direct drop in awesome thing. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Parts Bin. Uh, if you, and uh, yeah, like, subscribe, all that good stuff you're supposed to do. Thumbs up if you would, it'd be great. And a final tidbit at the end here. If you have a warhead, we know there's some of you guys out there. The warhead has this cast soft plug on the bottom. Oil leaks out from under the rocker pedestal. These little bat wings on these things will cover that up. No, no more oil leaks. So if you have a warhead and you're trying to figure out how to seal it up, there's some expensive options on the market. I don't want to call out companies because some of them have, we've, we've ran their parts and they're, yeah, they're great. great. This is an affordable way to stop that oil leak. Absolutely. If you have an aftermarket head that has a soft plug under the rocker pedestal and oil's leaking around it. So. Perfect. All right, guys. Thanks, thanks a lot. We'll catch you next time. See you.